All right, this is probably going to be my last substitute appearance of the year. I'm playing in the B League at Mullet Arena for the first time for a team called Hobnob against Pink Whitney. Hobnob is in second place at that point, and Pink Whitney is in last place. But that's not for a lack of talent. Those guys can score. They play hockey well. This is actually going to be kind of a goal fest, so get ready. Pick up a nice early save. What we're going to do here is see my saves first and then have a look at what happens down at the other end. And my goals against, too, of course. Got another one that I tip over the net. You can see there's a lot of speed here. One thing to know is Hobnob is playing with only one substitute. Got a save there. All pretty routine stuff. This one's kind of interesting because a glove goes flying. Who expects that? Not me. Watch this guy sneak in for the back door. Ah, as soon as I saw where that puck was headed, I knew somebody must have been lurking back there. And this guy just gets a good release through traffic and gets me moving side to side. It always stinks giving up two goals in a row. I'll settle back into it here. Some of the stuff is just utter chaos going on. This guy's got two on him, coughs the puck up, unfortunately. And I bite a little too early. These guys, as it turns out, can really shoot the puck. Should have had the glove up a little bit higher, too, and I probably would have had a, a better shot at that. Still good hands on his part. These guys shoot hard, so you'll notice me kick out some really big rebounds. Here's the other side. I believe that was like one of the very first, one of the first three or four shots. That's just absolute blast. This goalie is going to see a lot of shots and a lot of high quality opportunities tonight. And I can't fault him. He makes some really great saves. We're going to show some of those. Um, he's really trying his hardest. Look at that. Beautiful. That shot comes in, gets a tip from his own defenseman. Great, just what you need. He gets the blocker up on it. And two good swats from his last defender to get that thing clear. Love it. Now, that's one of those things where depth is really important. If he'd been closer to the goal, that would have still gone in. Nice tip on the glove there. So, yeah. Watch this. Get a little bit of a tip. And watch his head track it very nicely and just pushes it around the post. That's good stuff. This guy, he can play despite what happens here with a zillion different goals on both sides, to be frank. And look at this. This is a terrific save. That guy is open right there and he makes a nice switch of direction. Gets his pad on it. He's a little handcuffed here. That's a tough situation to be in. Because that's one of those things where some players might be able to bank it off of his pads and back in. Still good stuff from him. Good save there. And how frustrating is that? He makes that great save. Uh, we wind up with it and put another one past him. Still first period action here, and there's been a whole lot going on. That's also really frustrating. You'd like, ideally, to have a defender goal side from the attacker to make that stop. Good cover there. Beautiful stop on the wraparound attempt. Loved that. He, that guy just did not have, my teammate did not have much room. And I'm astounded, once again, playing with only one sub. They kept the tempo up in that first period like crazy. So here I am, settling in my office for the second period. Looking around. I really need to work on that RVH. It's less than perfect. And here, I thought that uh, I didn't realize how fast the other guy from Pink Whitney was coming in. Good breakaway here. I was with him until that very last move. And it was a good one. He came in a, mile, a million miles per hour, too. That RVH of mine is just so ugly. 
Look at that again. But it actually works. Rather than standing up like I sometimes would, I don't know if I had stood up at the post like I usually do, if I would have made the save and gotten down for it in time, and that was exactly what I had in mind. I've gotten burned by better players a few times on this, so I really wanted to work on staying low for those shots, coming in quick, and look at, he really gets all of that one. Look at the, how far the rebound goes out. I mean, it's halfway to the blue line before we even realize what's happening. Decent blocker save. There are nice hands to flip it out. Good angle there. Got a nice blocker on that one. Oh, it stays in. Let's see what he's going to do. Ah! Watch this. I think I have a slow-mo recording of this. Yep, here it is. It's a tip. Number 40 just gets a little bit on it, and that's beauty. I can't really be too mad about that, even though I hate it. I hate all goals scored against me. That's just the way it is. If you're a goalie, I think you get it. <laughs> no matter how good it is or how much they deserve it. This one was kind of crazy. You'll see that I'm thinking, should I stay down here in the RVH? But then I decide to recover, and as I start to recover... Starting to stand up there. He releases it, and whoa, it was diving a little bit. And I was very happy to get that in the glove and not have a rebound. There's another nice tip opportunity. I stuck with it and was in the right place for where it wound up. There's that stick interfering, making sure that nothing gets out to the front again. I'm not even sure what happens there, but... Holy cow. These guys can shoot. Look at that one. He just finds the slightest little bit of room, and he exploits that space, and a teammate just puts it right to where he's at headed, and he skates right into it. Holy cow. Just such composure with making that finish. Love it. That's really frustrating. He's respecting the shooter, which he should, and his defenders are not looking behind him as well. Yeah, that guy just kind of missed his mark. He took his attention off of his player for just a split second, and that's all it takes with these guys. They're just ridiculous. And look at that shot. He's even skating backwards while making it. And still will get so much on it to just roof it right over his shoulder. It's good stuff. Alright, looks like we're headed into the third period. There's me having some electrolytes. I won't say which because nobody's paying me to. Just kidding. I probably would anyway. <laughs> it's element. <laughs> Making some saves there. Got another one there. This is just nuts. This is absolutely ridiculous. Instead of this guy being behind the net and passing like a normal person on the ice, he lobs it over my net. Let's take a slower look at that. Okay, so I stretch fully out. I get that first one. He gets a second one. Then he gets a third. And on the third, it goes in. I'm just like, yeah. I was happy to make the first two saves and to also had the presence of mind to realize that was coming over my net in a duck. It would have been absolutely humiliating to have that bounce off my head. This is embarrassing, too. He's trying to clear it around, it hits something, comes out to me, hits the post, and then right to the pink guy. And that's, well, you're not going to get many goals that are more gift wrapped than that, are you? This was a pretty cool one, too. He comes in, I make the poke check, oh, right to their guy. And I get the cuff of my glove on it, knock it down, and get the cover. Love it. I'm very happy with that save. Not so happy with the rebound that led me to a goal, but what are you going to do? That's the way it works sometimes. That was an absolute blown post player right there. I pushed and didn't go anywhere. I was like, oh no, I'm in trouble now. Here comes Pink Whitney on the attack again. 
Just a good rebound into the corner. That's where we like it to be, but the bad guys wind up getting it. Ooh, and another save. One of the things I also noticed about this game is there was definitely a lack of chippiness. Oh, we had the same thing sequence twice in a row. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> These were good guys to play against, they were fun, and nobody was being a jerk about anything. Everybody was cool. One player hitting me in the mask with a puck, he came in to check on me afterward, and I just thought that was a cool thing to do. It doesn't happen all the time. And he got all that shot, too, so... Fortunately, yeah, I've got a fancy mask that really yeah, keeps all the damage out. I'm absolutely loving that save right there because that's that uh, cross ice pass. I read the play, I make the right save selection, and yeah, it's beautiful. You get the rebound out to the side. That's the kind of thing I love seeing myself do. That was pretty nifty, gotta admit. That's a dangerous one through traffic. Very happy uh, that I've been working uh, with Matt, one of the goalie coaches at our weekly clinic, on some of those uh, screen plays. He's really got me thinking about the right way to look around the traffic. So thank you very much to him for that. And also for adjusting my stance to stand up taller. That's something he's been working with me on. Oh, my God. Ah, that was a tough one. He gets across pretty quickly. If he's on his feet, he might uh, be better off with it. But I probably would have done the same thing and gotten scored on the exact same way. Some good saves. And that's one of those goals where you're just like, well, you got to give it to the guy because it's just an absolutely ridiculous shot off of two, looks like it's off of two bars. That water bottle is really getting abused tonight. Got the breakaway. Ugh. Those are some hands right there. And again, I'm going to go back to the fact that my team has only one substitute. It's just nuts. I didn't know what was going on down here. It looked like there was a stoppage of play, but there wasn't. I think number 19 is just like, I'm tired. I'm surprised that some of those guys weren't taking penalties to try and get a break. Ridiculous pass there. Nice save. Another good one right there. I don't think number five was expecting the goalie to give that one back to him to get the play started again. Oh, nice blocker save. Very excited to see him make that one. I had a quick talk with this goalie between periods, and I had told him, you know, keep your chin up. You're doing so well. This is just crazy. I don't know what got into him. What into what got into Hobnob to score so much, but he made some great saves and played great. Good guy. As you can see, this is a goal fest. 17 for Hobnob, 9 for Pink Whitney. Normally I would lose sleep over uh, giving up 9 goals, but not this time. 